ladies and gentlemen my greetings to all of you i am very happy that through the hindu platform the celebrated newspaper of india i am getting the privilege to talk to ias aspirants of the country we are living in a world where the physical world is being dominated by the digital world and when the request came to me that i can talk to young friends having the ambition to become civil servants they gave me a topic to talk about ethical values of civil services or any topic of my choice i have not to elaborate on ethical values that is what a civil servant must have always if he has to excel as a civil servant and by ethical values in my view it simply means remain true to your professional ethics imbibe the extraordinary values of integrity don't fall prey to corruption and above all have a heart for the poor and underprivileged whom you are going to serve if you keep these values in mind surely you will see a different kind of professional fulfillment and remember one thing very clearly india is a democracy an open society with a lot of pils rti and other forums of accountability therefore if as a civil servant you adopt means which are not fair then at some point in time you will surely have to get, suffer as i say in lighter vein in the covid there was no rail movement no plane movement and no highway movement but my department be it communication be it it be it postal department became the fulcrum of country's connectivity the mobile phone the landline the internet the it operations the first thing which arose as a challenge was how would india's it sector work because the professionals could not go to office then we came with the idea of work from home i liberalized liberalized the entire regulatory mechanism and 85% of indians worked from home sitting on the laptop or on the desktop or mobile and then our prime minister said make it work from anywhere this became a new model for the global developing world to follow therefore my young friends very briefly i thought i must explain to you the digital ecosystem of india yes we are committed to the right of privacy that is the law of the land inside the supreme court of india and my view about digital platform is it has to be safe and secure we very much appreciate the social media platform empowering ordinary indians <coughs> they ask questions and we need to answer why not but these platforms which are the finest creations of human mind including internet must not be abused by the terrorist by those who want to wreak violence in the country and if internet is a global phenomena it must have linkage with the local local ideas local culture because internet is a great cementing force for the world and now i let me tell you very clearly internet may have been founded by few but today the entire humanity must own internet that's how i see it so these were some of my general views friends which i thought i must share with you good luck to you and surely 
what you learn in this interaction would add value to your preparation to succeed in the competitive, competitive examination. Thank you, Jai Hind.